Hey everyone, it's Tuesday night, December 28th, and starting tomorrow, I will officially be back from my vacation. Check out my Instagram stories if you want some more details about what you can expect from me in the days to come. But in this video, I wanna talk about how Mars is ushering in the way for Jupiter to move into the sign of Pisces today. Let's talk about what it means for us, but first, connect in your energy as I shuffle the deck. I'm gonna pull a card with you guys, and go ahead and comment down below and claim it if this reading resonates with you. There it is. Okay, I'm going to talk about these cards in a moment. First, I wanna talk about how Mars is being challenged today by Pluto and Uranus. This is telling us that we have aspirations that are driving us in a specific way or a specific avenue. And yet at the same time, I'm getting that image in my mind's eye of Indiana Jones when he has to step out and it looks like a cliff, like a fool moment, but there's actually a bridge there. It's like you don't know how to connect the dots or get there from here. And so there's a little bit of impatience. Now, this might be reminiscent of something that was happening between May 13th and July 28th of this year when Jupiter was originally originally retrograding through the sign of Pisces. Something was wanting to get kickstarted, wanting to initiate, and yet we weren't sure what we needed to do or recalibrate to be able to get there. We couldn't daydream up or imagine how to connect the dots, so we might have redirected for a while. But now, from today until March 10th of 2022, we are revisiting that same energy as Jupiter now moves back into Pisces. So Jupiter is a planet of luck, of expansion, and it expands anything it touches, positive or negative. And when it's in the sign of Pisces. Now, Jupiter actually used to rule Pisces before Neptune was discovered, so it feels super at home here, and it's all about expanding your intuition, listening to your intuition. Pisces is the high priestess, the old crone, the oldest, or the last sign in the zodiac so it's kind of that old man or old woman vibe right that um that wise wise creature so this is about listening to our empathy our own internal compassion as well and we want to watch out for deceiving ourselves or other people feeling a lack of motivation um, feeling addictive behaviors or any sort of maladaptive coping mechanisms can stand up in this time and be a little bit challenging for us but basically whatever it was that we were having a hard time understanding and wrapping our head around and giving the empathy and compassion for early earlier this year, now we're going to have an opportunity to show up in a different way between now and May. So what would you like to do with it? How would you like that to land for you? And you know, how would you like to move things forward? So we have the eight of torches, two of swords and three of swords. What we see here is that pains from the past are still figuring in here pretty huge, but at the same time, you're recognizing a decision needs to be made. This isn't the moment yet to make the decision, but allow yourself to daydream up new possibilities and find bridges where you previously thought there were none. That's what I have for you guys today. I hope this helps. Comment down below. Let me know how it lands for you. Until the next video, I am singing so much bliss in your direction.